What's happening, guys? Welcome back. On this segment, I'm actually going to rewatch the McGregor versus Pori 3 fight. I saw it with family the night that it happened, and um, this is the first time I'm actually really watching, watching the fight and studying what happened. So, all right, let's get into it. I'm going to throw up a timestamp so you guys could uh, follow the commentary. Uh, let's get into it. All right, so round one, Connor comes out with a spinning back kick. It throws a second one. When I was watching the fight, I thought that was really good, a really good start. He's also throwing punches, mixing things up. Connor maintaining distance. Pori throwing kicks back for a front kick. Pori, Connor with the low kick, with a front kick. Connor's being really aggressive. He just landed a punch on Poirier. Another spinning back kick. Dustin try to catch a leg. Front kick by Connor. Ooh, that left that left straight almost caught Poirier. That was nasty. Connor threw like a one-two. Connor with another leg kick. Poirier landed a good leg kick right there. Almost landed a right hand on Connor. Connor blocked it. <clears throat> These guys are pretty evenly matched on the feet, but Connor was doing a good job in this fight. Um, going back to his mixed martial arts roots. Because he was too focused on boxing in the last fight. Another front kick by Connor. Poirier attempted front kick. Connor blocks it. Low kick by Poirier. Connor got out the way. Low kick by Connor. Good one two by Connor. Left hand crack Poirier. Oh my god, they got into this nasty exchange. Poirier actually got the better of that exchange right there. Like he kind of stunned Connor. Connor initiated the clinching and grappling. Uh, Poirier got Connor against the fence. Here's where Connor makes this big mistake. <clears throat> Connor's doing good right here. He's, he's trying to stuff the takedown. Um, if you're focused on stuffing a takedown, like that's what you need to do. Um, trying to strike or do anything else, you're going to get taken down. So right here, Connor's screwing up because he's trying to lock in a choke and he's just kind of like way too slow with it. So Poirier sees it coming a mile away. Pori kind of climbing the fence to alleviate the pressure. Um, I mean, when I saw this, I knew Pori was going to get out. He's a seasoned submission grappler. Connor is trying to kind of like get leverage to get the choke in deeper, but he's already lost it. Right now, his neck is against the cage. Pori is out. <clears throat> Pori's trying to land shots. Nothing really clean yet. Um, Pori just landed the elbow. Connor's doing a pretty good job of making Pori focus on holding him down. Connor throwing elbows now off his back. Because if you if you try to move off the bottom <clears throat> and get back up, you're making your opponent focus on maintaining position. Connor landed nasty elbows from the bottom. Those are like really good elbows from the bottom. But yeah, if you're making your your opponent off balance and making them work. Um, they're more focused on holding you down. Damn, Pori's landing some good elbows. Some of them Connor blocked. Some of them got thrown and hit him on the top of his head. Yeah, so again, if your opponent's focused on control, he's not attacking. Um, right now, Con Connor's completely flattened out. His back is, a is on the floor. Pori just landed a right hand on his ear. Connor with the up kick. Just kick Pori's knee. Pori dives back down. Good elbows from Connor off his back. Uh, Pori with some grinded pound, throwing some elbows. Uh, most of those miss. He's landing a few, though. It looks more violent and worse than what it is. <clears throat> like, if, if you. If you rewatch this, um, you'll see what I'm talking about. But he was landing. He stole the round. At the end of the round, it was um, Poirier was up by 10 strikes. And that's some like all the ground and pound work. Um, Poirier just on top of Connor now. Looks like he's getting his breath. Connor is working another guillotine. Just tiring his arms out, really. I don't know why he's doing that. He should have 
probably try to get um work for like butterfly guard or something try to sweep poirier maybe kick off his hips create space and then um stand up okay connor's up those a kick those a front kick they both oof they both go for hard crosses and um connor's leg snaps poirier goes on the attack Honestly, I think Pori could have been more vicious. He saw that his leg was broken. And um, Connor is sitting up right now, pointing out that his leg is jacked up. Yeah. All right, guys. So thoughts. Um, I'm going to put up a still image of the, the moment where um, everyone believes, including Connor's coach, um, the moment where Connor actually broke his leg. Um, it was Pori actually blocking a kick with his elbow. And um, John Kavanaugh believes that there was a fracture possibly in training. Um, and the elbow in the fight actually, like, you know, finished his leg off and, and fully snapped it. But that's all like theory. Even Kavanaugh says that. What are my thoughts on a fight? Um, I thought it was very competitive. It was very competitive on the feet. Connor was doing great work, he was mixing things up which is what he needed to do compared to the second fight. I felt like he was initially getting the better of the stand-up. Uh, there was a point where Poirier cracks him. And if you if you rewatch this fight, it caused Connor to clinch up and, and basically kind of like shoot because he got stung. He got stung by a right hand. I believe it was a right hand. Could be wrong, could be wrong. But um, the point is that Poirier cracked him, stung him a little bit. Similar to like what Diaz did. Diaz rocked Connor. He caused Connor to basically like panic shoot. And you know, there's no shame in that. You're trying to survive in the fight. You know what I mean? You got stung. You're a little bit hurt. And you got to get your, your wits about you. So that's a part of fighting. But it's just funny because Connor, you know, he was saying the first one to shoot is a. Uh, but that's just, you know, that's just Connor being Connor. Trying to get to Poirier's head to uh, make the fight more advantageous for him. As far as the ground and pound, um, yeah, like I said, um, it looked a lot more vicious than what it was. Don't get me wrong, Poria was landing good shots. Um, maybe like half of those Connor deflected or, or they flat out just missed. And you saw in um, Connor's post of in the hospital, his, his face barely had marks on it. I don't know about the top of his head, but because uh, <laughs> Poria definitely was landing elbows on the top of his head. If you want to go by the um, the end of the round, if it made it to the second, yeah, Poirier was, he won the round, you know, in my estimation, I think officially, um, I think is like, what, a 10-9? Or is that what most people think? And I think that's very fair. And um, yeah, as the fight was going on, Poirier was uh, taking over and uh, so far he was winning. But, you know, there was four more potential rounds, guys. Um, a lot could have happened. Um, guys come back all the time. It was close. It wasn't like a total domination in the first round. It's not like Connor was getting mopped up like that. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, we just saw Charles Oliveira win the belt, you know, coming back. He almost got knocked out and stopped in the first round, comes back in the second and knocks out Chandler. And we've seen that time and time again, especially with strikers. So, um, you know, fourth fight necessary. I think so. I mean, why not? Once Connor heals up, um, you know, he's going to be out probably at least six months, at least. It's probably not going to be a year till we see him fight, realistically speaking. Uh, with him, he's kind of crazy. He may try to rush it, but I think that'll be a bad idea. And if uh, Poirier fights uh, Charles Oliveira, he wins the belt. Um, I don't think you should give Connor that that fourth fight like that and give him a title shot you know i don't think he's deserving of that at this point he should fight a top contender beat them and if he beats them then he has the right to fight poirier but if poirier loses to charles Oliveira, sure give him the give him a fourth fight i'm not against it um i think we have to see a definitive loss uh for either one of those guys but yeah guys that's all i got um it was fun re-watching this i missed some things let me know what you thought about the fight in the comment section. Would you like to see a fourth match? Also, um, what about that scenario? What if Poirier beats Charles Oliveira? Um, do you think Connor deserves a fourth match if, if Dustin's the champ? I mean, I personally don't think it's right. But that's just me. I'm eager to read your thoughts.
Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the segment. If you enjoyed it and it's your first time at the channel, consider hitting that sub button. Like and share helps the channel grow. Truly appreciate it, guys. And until the next segment, you all take care.